lately I've gotten a bit nostalgic when it comes to the Borderlands franchise and I have decided to go back and play the games again recently and that made me realize the future of the Borderlands franchise seems pretty worrisome for numerous reasons and I and Borderlands fans are led to believe that Borderlands 4 could potentially be the last game for a while. The reason being the last couple Borderlands projects really haven't stuck the landing you could say and not for monetary value and just for an example Borderlands 3 sold really well but wasn't received well by a certain portion of the fanbase me included. The same could be said for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands which apparently exceeded Take 2's expectations which is the publisher of the Borderlands franchise. But what about New Tales from the Borderlands, the most recent game? And let's also talk about the Borderlands movie, which is not looking too good. For the game, we don't have any sales numbers, but we could go off SteamDB, which I will admit is a small fraction, but it does kind of paint a bigger picture for the game and how many players are playing it, at least on PC, and it does not look good. The game overall suffered from a bunch of issues but I would say the biggest is the story obviously being a story centered game and for the movie it's flopping pretty bad. It was reported that it only made 31 million dollars at the global box office on a budget of 110 million which is so bad by the way I just want to put that into perspective. So that should really show you that the franchise is in a downward spiral. But recently Borderlands 4 was revealed and I don't think it it was because they wanted to announce it with the release of the Borderlands movies, but instead I think it was because the movie was such a flop and it sucked. Please don't go watch it by the way. I watched it already with my wife and it is unbearable. We obviously know that Borderlands 4 is coming out in 2025 and I hope that Gearbox has learned from previous projects what works and what doesn't. But I think what they really need to hammer in this time around is the story of the game because that's what I would say fans have been focused on a bit more lately. And I know Borderlands 3 did not reel or intrigue me in, and maybe the same for others but the story and the moments that in that i had in that game just had me bored and just did not compel me at all and we know that tiny tina's wonderlands 2 is coming it was leaked a while ago that gearbox is working on it and honestly they took a lot of what didn't work in borderlands 3 and kind of made it better but that game is kind of a spin-off and it's doing its own thing i'm being genuinely honest where the franchise stands i'm happy I know that might be a bad opinion because everybody in the community is very skeptical of where the franchise is heading and like I said in this video the games are just not where I would say Borderlands 1, 2 and the pre-sequel were at back in the day and I don't think the franchise is ever going to reach that high again. I think it's always going to be low but let's honestly be optimistic for Borderlands 4. The game has been in development apparently for 6 years from what I'm reading and that gives Gearbox plenty of time to cook so we're honestly just gonna have to wait to see what they've been cooking in the oven because because I'm pretty interested. I know one of the biggest requests is to bring back Handsome Jack and I don't think that will simply work. Handsome Jack was one of the best written characters in probably all of gaming. He's one of the most menacing bad guys you can ever meet or play against in Borderlands or just in gaming in general. I know that sounds pretty stupid to hear but it really is the truth. I think he's one of the biggest reasons why I enjoy Borderlands 2. He's very fierce and menacing. That and he will constantly talk to you. But that's gonna have to wrap up today's video guys. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy. Please leave a like if you guys did enjoy and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on my next video. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and take care.